Mommy not mad at you. Mommy not mad at your baby. Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Geneva in general. I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, as you can see, look at my eyes. Look, look me in my eyes. I am still hurt from the, the ass kicking Caitlin Clark put on my team, the Chicago Sky, my Chicago Skyscrapers last night on Barbie night. That was our first, we broke WNBA history. We made history. The first WNBA team to have a collab with Mattel Barbie and we got destroyed, embarrassed, obliterated and humiliated in front of everybody. So of course I was on uh, social media last night during the game, especially after the game. And people calling for Spoon's head, I did too. You know, look at my previous video, I said she needs to be fired. And I still stand behind that until she actually gets her ish together. But what was interesting to me, and I see a lot of teams say this, that, oh, it's okay, Spoon is just going to tank. She's going to tank the Chicago Sky in order for us to get the first uh, round, number one round draft pick for the 2025 WNBA season. And I was like, what is all this tanking for Paige? That was Kurt Miller, they said that he's tanking the LA Sparks for you know Paige Beckers and we're gonna tank for Paige, we're gonna tank for AZ Fudd, they're trying to tank for Juju Watkins, she ain't even gonna be in the league in three years. I'm like, what do you mean by tank? So I did my research and apparently tanking means like you literally either cause the team to lose on purpose or you just allow the team to just go, go, go straight to hell in order for you to secure, the, again, the, the league's uh, next season, number one or overall draft picks. So, so you, in order for teams to actually, who are on a losing streak, right, to keep things interesting. So the, the, the whole term of tanking, it's actually very um, unique to North America. Again, like overseas, they don't really do this. And I kind of, I understand like why we should do it, right? Because if you have losing teams on losing streaks, such as like say the Detroit Pistons, don't get mad at me, the Dallas Cowboys. It, to make things more interesting, right? You got to actually like share the wealth, right? It's like uh, diversifying your stock, right? You want some like top major players to go to the losing team so it can keep the season interesting and give them kind of like, you know, a, a fair chance and opportunity to actually make something shake during the season. So again, I understand the concept behind it and I do agree with the logic, but if this is true, if this, if this is like a strategy that Spoon is using for my Chicago skyscrapers, I am not in, in agreement with it. Again, like I believe that's a loser mentality. Whether, you know, we're still in the number, I believe we're still in the number eight seed spot. Okay, I just found out, I spoke too soon last night, right after the game, and then I did my commentary. So the Indiana Fever guys, they just uh, bumped up in the number six seed. Okay, they're in the sixth place in the power rankings. Incredible feat. They just moved up like, I forgot, like, I think they was like number nine. They were like number nine. They were ninth seed in the beginning of the season. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, Caitlin Clark humiliated Angel Reese in the Chicago skyscrapers last night. It got so bad again. It was they had a hundred points. So I, I believe we had seventy. No, we had eighty-one points. I believe we, it was a hundred to eighty-one. That was the final game score. During at the at the end of the freaking game, after they defeated us, Caitlin Clark did this. Like she was literally making the crowd, the whole crowd roaring for her, cheering her on, and her incredible performance. So again, she had like a thirty plus. I believe she put up like thirty plus points. <clears throat> In last night's game, Barbie Mattel, I'm a Barbie girl. Okay, they said that introduced the Barbie, the Bayou Barbie, the Sky Town, Shy Town Barbie got turned into barbecue. And Caitlin Clark was looking at her fingers. Again, there's no reason for this to continue to keep happening. Spoon, if you see this, okay, I'm just uh, I'm just a girl, but okay, I, I care for you in the Chicago skyscrapers. Do not purposely tank for to to again like it's just not this doesn't make sense it makes sense but it doesn't make sense let's say like we're just gonna continue to go on a losing streak right chicago skyscrapers we don't really care we're just trying to tank for page tank for juju Watkins, tank for whoever like the the number one number one draft overall pick for 2025 WNBA season so you mean to tell me right now we're just going to continue being losers and having this loser mentality so that we can perhaps we may we hope we wish we pray that we might have somebody that actually can actually be of, of of service to us next year. So we gotta wait next year to, to hopefully get somebody that can give us a championship. That doesn't make any sense to me. Again, I wanna see some film. If, if Dawn Staley was running this team, I guarantee you she'll, rip, she'll whip them girls into shape. Um, you know, I wanna see some, I'm, I'm nosy, okay? At this point, like I want to the Chicago skyscrapers, reach out to me, please. When I get some time, if I can take leave from this ratchet ass job in the military, Allow me, okay, I'm not going to be disrespectful. I won't even say a word. Y'all won't even know I'm there. Can I just please sit in on one of y'all practices or one of y'all drills just to see what's going on? Again, I'm not an expert, but I believe, like, you know, I have, like, a, a fine eye. Okay, I got 20-20 vision. Because, um, like, what I've been seeing on my screen when I'm watching these games, it's like I can see the issues. So I just want to see, like, what are you teaching these girls or what are they not being taught during their practices and during the drills? 
okay, because the way they perform, they look like y'all and they're just playing patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Like what's really going on during these WNBA practices? Again, whatever's going on or whatever is not going on in these practices, it shows during our games and, and our players' performance. And not only in their performance, it shows in their confidence or lack thereof rather, right? Again, it's like, why are, again, these are issues that could have easily been corrected months ago. Okay, the WNBA season is just under six months. We only got one more month. Today's August 31st, okay? Uh, but I think September, I don't even know, like the last three weeks of September, or the last week of September, is the WNBA season is no more. Everybody going to move on. They're going to go into Unrival. They're going overseas. They're just ch chilling, right, practicing uh, their game on during the off season. It's like, why are our players, Chicago skyscrapers, lacking so much confidence? The fact that, again, like it's, it's in our stats, Chicago Sky, we're dead last when it comes to uh, just – three three point attempts okay we're just we, they lack so much confidence they have no confidence in themselves we don't even try to make three pointers okay and Teresa spoon again spoon i don't agree with her coaching i don't believe she's a good leader she has the nerves to say well well we don't want to be like everybody else so what you're saying to me is that you don't want to win okay because that's how you win games in the nba the WNBA. again like the game has evolved she's 58 years old she'll be turning 59 uh, this December, now, let me just give her this compliment because I know I've been riding your back. Teresa Weatherspoon has great skin, okay? She looks amazing. She needs to quit playing and drop the skincare routine. But again, it's an issue that our players lack so much confidence. Okay, imagine like you go to the fire academy, right? I think that's how it goes. I'm not a firefighter, okay? But let's say like you, you want to be a firefighter. You go to the academy, you get trained three, six months, right? You get your firefighter's license, certificates, whatever, whatever, whatever have you, right, in order to be a firefighter. You get a call that, you know, a house is on fire. And like, you got the damn, you got all the tools. You have the tools. I'm tired of that excuse. Oh, well, they don't have this, they don't have that. Yes, they do, they have the tools. You got the water, you got the helmet, you got the flashlight, you got the flame retardant, you got the fire extinguisher. But when it's time to like run up in that house and save lives, to put the extinguisher out that fire, you literally freeze up and you run in the other way. That's what I see time and time again with our Chicago skyscrapers. Like Lindsay Allen, I've been begging people, I've been begging and pleading on my knees Quit letting the offense run through Lindsay Allen. She has no confidence, at least not as, as of yet. Now, again, like she was cooking up and she really did impress me with her performance last night. But again, by the second, by the end of the second quarter, beginning of the third quarter, she completely lost momentum, as well as the other Chicago skyscrapers. Again, Lindsay Allen, this is how she plays offense. Dribbling out the ball. Her and Dana Evans, just dribble, dribble, dribble. Shot clock violation after shot clock violation. Again, it's like Lindsay and Dana. You're on the you're playing the offense. You know what that means? That means you are to offend them. You're playing offense. You shouldn't be scared of them. They should be scared of you. You've got the ball in your hand. Okay? They're on defense. They they're as defense players, their goal is to defend that hoop. You got the ball in your hand, okay? You got the bad bitch in your hand. She belongs to you. Yes, you can get a, a turnover. Yes, you can get the ball stolen. Yes, you can get a block. But again, you are on offense. You are to offend the opponents, the defensive opponents, right? The, 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 the ball is literally in your hands. Quit running up the shot clock, dribbling, dribbling, trying to make decisions. She always pointing like this. Again, it's so painful to watch. I don't see even like high school girls, middle school girls. I don't see, but specifically professional basketball players. Name another team in the WNBA. They, they offensive player who, who runs offense to, for that team. Show me somebody who constantly is pointing like this. Yes, sometimes you have to give directions, but she shouldn't have to say anything, Chicago skyscrapers. When you see Lindsay, right? Again, like this is my logic, okay? I used to play basketball back in the day, okay? I'm old. It's like that body language. It's supposed to be an uh, ebb and flow. You, your body speaks without you even having to say nothing. You ain't even got to point to me. If I'm Angel Reese right here in the paint, if I'm Camila Cordoso out here in the, in, uh, near the inbound, if I'm Michaela Amue, you know, the three-point line, Lindsay shouldn't even have to point to y'all and like beg y'all to come up. Oh no, no, go, go back. You should see that she's struggling, right? It seems like she's indecisive, like she, oh, she usually is. She's afraid to take that three point shot, run up to her, say here, you know, volunteer, I volunteer as tribute, give me the ball. I got a plan, if you ain't got a plan, baby, it's okay. Sis, don't worry your pretty little head, just give me the ball. Again, last night, again, there was so many games going on, I hated it, pains me, I didn't even, I got, I caught the Las Vegas Aces, I had to rewatch it this morning because, again, the damn Chicago skyscraper, the Chicago sky and Indiana Fever game was going on at the same time. And I wanted to see the Dallas Wings. I wanted to see the Dallas Wings play the um, um, New York Liberty, and I believe they actually won. They beat New York Liberty. That's crazy. But during that game, this is why they call Sabrina. Okay, Sabrina Ionescu of the New York Liberty is nothing to play with. That's a bad, dangerous woman. I saw this woman. 
She was laying on her back, y'all. She was at her most vulnerable. This woman literally put up a two-pointer on her back. Look it up. It's all over Twitter. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. While I was watching the Chicago Sky Fever game, I'm looking at highlights of the other games that was going on. That blew my mind. Sabrina Inescu, again, she needs to teach a master class on confidence. She has no issues hesitating at the three-point line. She was literally laying on her back, y'all, at her most vulnerable, and she still just <laughs> chucked it up. They couldn't even guard this woman when she was on her back. That is a scary woman, okay? Even like, well, it's like the Lil Wayne li lyrics. Even when I'm laying on my back, I'm never backing down. Again, there's no excuse for our Chicago skyscrapers to be playing like this. I really hope uh, that uh, uh, Spoon is not trying to tank for Paige or tank for anybody, tank for Jesus. Again, like I want to see some real drills and practices. I want to see her method, the method to her madness. Okay. And I also would like some NBA again. Like I would love to see some men step up. I see Juju Watkins. Juju Watkins again. She's only 19. I hate that we got to wait three more years for her to play. Cause when she gets into the WNBA, Juju Watkins is going to terrorize everybody. And I can't wait. Cause I know it's going to be so satisfying to watch. I see Juju Watkins. Okay. Practicing and playing and getting advice and tips and getting that guidance from men like Kyrie Irving, who's an excellent ball handler. That man is ridiculous. Uh, Chris Brown, again, like, of course, he's a singer, but Chris Brown, he even said if he wasn't a singer, look at his basketball highlight reels. Watching Chris Brown play basketball is like poetry in motion. He plays basketball with Juju Watkins. He'll show up to her games at USC, even when she was in high school. These men are around her, okay? Because, again, men are stronger, faster, bigger than us. Imagine, like, practicing and playing against, like, elite male players in the NBA. Juju Watkins ain't going to be nothing to play with. I wish some of these men, you know, Shaquille, no, he came out and showed out. Now, again, like Shaquille, Shaq is Shaq, but you know what? I don't even care if he retired and kind of, you know, big. Like, he wasn't, like, the, the best scorer, but I believe, like, they kind of play, like, similar roles. Was he a power forward? Like, similar to Andrew Reese? It, it don't even matter. Like, can y'all please, like, jersey up and get in the gym with Andrew Reese and Chicago skyscrapers and give them that confidence that they need so desperately? Even other women like Serena and Eskip, somebody, please, take these women under their wing. It's so frustrating to see Andrew Reese you know, scared to put up a three. She's scared to put up a mid-range. How are you six? Woman, you are six foot three for a reason. It's ain't nothing but hand-eye coordination and, and consistency. Technique and consistency. You got to have that viper strike. Like Naneko Ogumake, I believe her recent stats, like all throughout her career, okay? Naneko Ogumake of the Seattle Storm. This woman has not shot below 51%. I would be trying to like, hey, I want to reach out. Can I please, can you please mentor me? My spoon, my, my coach, Coach Spoon ain't worth a damn. Okay, nobody is giving me these confidence boosters. If I was Spoon, if I was the coach of the Chicago Sky, I say once a week for like four hours straight for practice. It's just confidence boosters. Like what we would practice is just confidence, okay? What to do when you're getting sworn by two, three big, strong, sweaty women. What to do when, like when you're underneath the, the rim. Okay, seeing again, where is the skill and technique? Y'all are professional basketball players. It's like trained firemen are, are trained to go into burning houses, burning buildings. You already, again, like the excuses, y'all. So many people on Twitter last night, I've been seeing this said all season long, okay? They don't have this. Well, you know, Chicago Sky, they suck because, well, we don't have a point guard. We don't have a point goddess. We ain't got a point god. We ain't got this. We ain't got that. We ain't got Chick-fil-A. It's like, listen, y'all are trained basketball players. You do have that because you're trained basketball players. We don't have shooters. What are you doing as a, you're professional basketball players. I don't care if you're a point forward. Uh, a, a, a center, a, a point guard, a shooting guard. You are a shooter. That's what they pay you for. That's what you did your entire life, more than likely, right? Middle school, high school, elementary school. That's when these girls started playing basketball. Y'all left college, y'all graduated, and y'all joined the W because you already are a shooter. What is not, what, what don't y'all understand about that? Again, at this point, I believe Spoon and the Chicago skyscrapers, this is just from my perspective, looking at outsider looking in, they have a loser mentality. All this tanking for who, 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 what, 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 I, no, this is some nonsense, okay? It's like the Connecticut Sun, that's my second favorite team. They number two in the power rankings. It's like, why are y'all comfortable with that? It shows like y'all comfortable. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. When you in second place, you're the first one to lose. Don't ever come at me with the, oh, well, you know, we're, we're not first place, but hey, or at least we're not dead last in the power rankings. We're not number 12. We're not number nine. We're not number 10. You know, Chicago Sky, at least we're in the, we're in the playoff contentions, right? We're number eight. We're, we're literally ranked dead last in the power rankings, okay, in order for us to even make the playoffs. And y'all okay with that? No. If you number two, okay, we're dead last and number eight. If that, we might be even number nine by now if Atlanta, uh, if they uh, beat somebody. If you number two, I don't give a damn what, whatever it is you do, you're the first one to lose.